this field we're going to take a quick look at one of UCLA's favorite short yardage passing concepts. Just a quick boot and we'll take a look at exactly how they've done it. On this look right here, they've got their tight end fullback over here. A little bit of unbalanced because he's off the ball. But all this concept is, is they get under center. Now, they get under center they run a bunch of duo. So these guys just basically down block. He's running right there downhill trying to get short yardage. What they do right here, they make it look like outside zone going that way. So as we play real quick, you can see everybody is drop stepping there, running that way, pinning everything that way. You can see his back's a little bit tighter than normal. He's about four yards. As soon as this ball is snapped, quarterback reverses out, and his back is already sprinting. It's just a race right there to the first down marker. And right here, you can see everybody's going outside zone that way. They want those guys to step. He runs them off. He's running the climb right there. So you got a couple options. But right there, he's just sprinting, going to the flats. And right here, obviously UCLA this year has had a really athletic quarterback. And right there, if anybody comes to him, we're saying he's going to outrun a middle linebacker right there to the flats. That's what they do right there. Bob's a little bit, but he's able to make that play and get the first down. So, again, if anybody right here that's made up on this back hesitates at all with this look right here, which the only way that you're not is if you're just sitting there staring at the back. And even though he is staring at the back, it should be a mismatch right there to the sideline right there. And I really think the reason why this really works for these guys is that obviously an athletic quarterback. And we'll see a few more looks where being an athletic quarterback makes a difference in this play and it allows it to be successful. And now he ends up throwing right here. As you look at it, you can see you have this climb coming across right there. And then fullback right here who's getting out late. He's down blocking and then he works out for a late option right there. Very similar look here for UCLA against Oregon. This time Oregon plays it really well. Again, this is the exact same formation. You got tight end fullback over here. Receiver, these guys are climbing across. He's taking them off. He's going right there as fast as he can. As you play, you can see kind of the difference. Getting held up right there. Good job slowing him down. These guys, they have two bodies over there running. There's a safety rolling down right there. So as you can see, they basically have four bodies on two. And this is where having an athletic quarterback obviously makes a difference. You want to try to stretch that thing. It's a fourth and two. Obviously, this is a big game right here against Oregon. Athletic quarterback's able to make a guy miss in space. These guys are falling down all over themselves. Still able to get the first down. Obviously, they did a good job playing this. Oregon did. They just weren't quite able to execute and leverage a good athlete getting in space. So, again, good play, especially whenever you have a quarterback that can make people miss out there in space and get that first down. We'll see a few more looks and see why I think this is one of the better short yardage plays when you're in those heavy sets. Same play here, this time against Arizona. And then the same thing twice in this game. They actually motion him across. Ball snap, takes off. He has run a climb again. Trying to make it look like outside zone away as far as the O-line is concerned. Ball is snapped. Again, four yards. Ball is snapped. He's going as fast as he can to the flats. Quarterback's faking behind him. And now it's just a race right there. Obviously, great athlete right there. Get him out in space. If somebody comes to him, he should out leverage this guy that's got some space right there. This play, they're actually just second and nine. So right here, obviously not a short yard situation. Good job right there letting it work. Once he comes to you, now just dump it off right there to the flats. He gets a good completion, pretty good gain right there. Gets the first down. And you can see what else they had going on right here. So as the ball snapped, he's going to the flats. This guy should be racing to the flats if he does. Now you've got this climb coming across. If anybody's falling there, now you've got this tight end or fullback leaking out late right there. Good job being patient and continue to work to the sideline. With the wide side of the field, that helps there as well. And we get a completion and pretty good gain. As soon as we view this exact same scheme, same game again, motioning right there. As soon as he gets there, snapping it. This guy's going outside zone, racing him right there to the end zone with that back. As you can see, ball snapped, drop step. Everybody's trying to make outside zone that direction or possibly duo. And right there, reverse out. He's already gone, really not even faking it to him. Now you're stretching the edge. Athletic quarterback, again, getting on the edge with that speed. These guys are going flat, trying to make sure that they don't get out leverage by that back. Now he can press downhill and see what happens with it with his legs. So as he's going, these guys continue to feather. Nobody's really got the speed or athleticism to get there to him. He outruns all of them because they had sat back trying to play that back, and he gets to the end zone right there from five yards out. Again, just one of those things is if you have an athletic quarterback, you can really make this play go. Ball snapped. Boom, sprint to the sideline. These guys are feathering a little bit trying to play these. Here's the tight end that's leaking late trying to play those guys. Make sure that you can't throw it to them. And if you play flat-footed against an athletic quarterback that's got a full head of steam, he's going to make something happen, and that's what he does right there for a touchdown. Here's a look against Cal. This time they just got a tight end. Tailback right there. Tailback's a little bit deeper in this look, but still he's to the sticks right there about line of scrimmage. He's going right there. We've got some sort of a climb coming from right there. So ball snapped. Again, faking. These guys are trying to make it like outside zone. He's sprinting to the flats right there. As you can see, strong safety. There's the linebacker 
They're running to the running back right there. The quarterback, he's pressing that edge. He sees that he's got a little bit more space, and he can actually block for him. So right there, he just tells him, hey, go ahead and turn around and block. And now they got the edge right there with the quarterback. Making something happen with his legs, seeing that he had him out leveraged, and he can get an extra blocker. Really no reason to flip it down to him is if you have an athletic, less athletic guy right here, probably just want to dump it to him and let him try to make what happens. But since he, he's so athletic, tell him to block. Now they've got that edge, and he's able to get a big explosive play right there for UCLA. I think this is a really good look here for UCLA. Again, they got their tight end, single receiver, faking outside zone that way, faking it. He's going right there. So this safety, for whatever reason, he's trying to rob the middle. There's the mic. He's driving extremely hard. Keep pressing that thing. There's the end trying to get there. Just run through that alley. He keeps pressing now. He's running. He can't see it because he's playing man-to-man. -man. Now that quarterback's just basically chasing that guy who already has his back turned. He's able to create a first down right there on a first and 10. So again, really like this look because it's one of those that I think a lot of people might see. So right there, outside zone, if, even if his backer is flowing with it or whatever, if you had, basically they have two on one here with his linebacker. He's either got to take the back, which is the first option. Now that gives the quarterback the chance to run. If he would have came to the quarterback, now he can dump it down and they can get uh, the ball to the back right there. But right there you can see he's chasing the back and he just chases him right there. Gets all he can, steps out of bounds, preserves his body.